In a countryside known for its beautiful summer wildflowers, the Rocky Mountains of central Colorado, a scientist makes an alarming forecast about the potential impact of global warming. That heating effect will induce dramatic effects on these subalpine meadows, causing loss of, of the plants that we especially value here, the flowering plants. John Hart, a professor of biology at the University of California in Berkeley, runs an experiment to determine what would happen if the temperature was just three degrees warmer here year round, like what is forecasted because of global warming. This heating, it's actually quite subtle. We're not heating a lot. It's only a few degrees, but it's causing the flowering plants to produce fewer flowers and to grow less abundantly. His setup is relatively simple. Low power electric heaters suspended above a mountain meadow heat the ground and the plant life beneath three degrees warmer than the surrounding area. The heaters are automatically and precisely controlled. They've been on constantly, day and night, winter, spring, summer, and fall since 1992. And that's what we project. It's going to look more like a sagebrush field than, a, than an alpine meadow. In his global warming experiment, he suspended heaters in a grid pattern to create heated plots, then unheated plots back and forth so he can judge the effects side by side. The difference three degrees of separation makes in flowers and sagebrush is easy to see. They suck juices out of the plant. In the unheated natural area, sagebrush is a source of moisture for an army of thirsty insects. They keep sagebrush under control. So they have little mouthpieces that can suck away at the nutrient. But just a few feet away, sagebrush under the heater grows far better with fewer bugs. We found that the heating is causing profuse growth of the sagebrush. Flowers feel the effect too. In natural areas, flowers grow thick as they always do here. But a few feet away, where it's three degrees warmer, flowers are not as abundant. A graduate student helps John Hart measure the changes. This instrument detects the amount of carbon in leaves information heart studies to learn more about his heated plants. The meadows, instead of looking lush and strewn with flowers, are now actually uh, rather um, arid. His experiment is a short hike from the former ghost town of Gothic, Colorado. Since 1928, biologists have gathered here at the Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory for a summer filled with experiments conducted in the surrounding mountains. John Hart's come each summer since the 1970s examining factors affecting life in this fragile ecosystem. The meadows around Gothic are lush with wildflowers, even though it's the summer of Colorado's worst drought in 50 years. If global warming or long-term climate change does increase the year-round temperature here just a few degrees, John Hart predicts in decades to come, flowers could be crowded out by sagebrush. What may happen in this beautiful mountain valley could very well be seen in nature elsewhere. Global warming is more than just an ecological catastrophe. It will be a human catastrophe in all of its dimensions.